My friend Alma and I are going to enjoy some keto tacos. They're going to be made from a shell actually out of cheese and not the corn or flour uh, tortilla or shell that most people normally eat. So that will make it uh, low carb and keep us in the keto zone. I'll show you how to make that just coming up. For our taco seasoning, we have four tablespoons of chili powder, two tablespoons of ground cumin, two tablespoons of sea salt or ground kosher salt, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, a half a tablespoon of freshly ground black pepper, which is not pictured, two teaspoons of dried oregano, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, more or less per your liking. And I put that in an eight ounce mason jar. And you can use two tablespoons per pound of ground beef, turkey, or chicken. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ground some ground beef. I've got a couple of pounds here. It's some really good stuff here. It's actually some ribeye ground up. I'm going to put that in here. Put one of these rings. That's a pound. Then I have this really cool tool right here. It helps break it down. Whoa. Better hold that. And that helps break down that ground beef so that you can brown it real easy. Uh, some of it sticks a little bit, comes right off. Now, if you do that, now you gotta wash your hands, but I'll do that anyway. And then we'll just go ahead and cook this. Okay, see this is how this tool works. You just put it in and twist a little bit and it helps break up the meat. Perfect for browning. Pardon the noise, it does make a little bit of slamming sound, but, but if you do it, it breaks it up nicely. Oh yeah. Then once you get it broken up real well, you go ahead and drain the grease. I'll use a slotted spoon, but for a few more uh, cycles of breaking it up, uh, I like to use that tool. It's really good for this. Okay, as you can see, the ground beef is pretty much crumbled up. It's browning well. It's not too dried out. There's a little bit of moisture left in the bottom. That's what we want to see. So let's get rid of that tool. And I do have a slotted spoon from now on that we'll use. But now that it's time, let me go ahead and add the seasoning mix. Again, I make mine in bulk. Let me give it a good shake so it breaks up some of the lumps that it makes. I love these little mason jars. Now I have a pound of ground beef. So I like to use two tablespoons of the mix. Again, you can adjust it for flavor like you like. There's no sugars in here. There we are. And then I like to mix that thoroughly in. Oh, I can smell that cumin. Uh, it's a nice smoky odor. It puts out the aroma it is really good here. Oh, this is going to be good. I like to just stir this up a little bit, not too much here, just get it uh, slightly coated everywhere. You can see some of this ground beef over here, doesn't have any on it. That's really good. And then just like every other good taco seasoning, I like to add a little water. I have three quarters of a cup. Put it in. You could use beef stock. That would add a really good flavor to it. Chicken stock even. Uh, I just add water. This is very flavorful seasoning. Uh, I don't need to add anything different into it. And let's go ahead and cook this for about 10-15 minutes. 
so the water absorbs, a lot of it will evaporate. Uh, and then that taco meat will be really good to go. Oh yeah, that's how we're going to do this. To make our taco shells, I have just a sheet pan here. Now I've actually put down a sill plat covering, but some other avenues to use is parchment paper. Parchment paper works just as good if you don't have these sill plats. These are reusable mats that I have. They're silicone coated, I love those. Great for cookies, baking, or anything. Then we also have wax paper, which you never use in the oven. Do not cook with wax paper. It is not the same as parchment paper. Parchment paper has a different basis in it and is oven safe. Wax paper will melt in the oven and ruin your food and ruin your pots and pans and ruin everything. Never bake or use wax paper or believe wax paper is the same as parchment paper. It is not. So enough of that. So again, parchment paper would be perfect replacement if you didn't have one of these sill pads. The next thing we're going to do is get our cheese. Now, I prefer to use freshly grated cheese. I do my own at home, but I have a fancy store that I go to, which I love uh, here locally, that actually grind it fresh for you. When you ask for it, they'll actually go ahead and make it for you real time and putting them in the little containers. So I know this is freshly grated cheese, not something sat around. Don't buy the prepackaged cheese that's grated. It, it has extra chemicals, extra things in it that you don't need. It's not probably keto friendly or uh, gluten free or gosh knows what they're putting into it. Extra preservatives, uh, could be flour. Hopefully it's cornstarch so it is gluten free, but you can't be sure. So this I know is just 100% cheese in a bowl. They did it this morning for me. I was right there when they made it. It was wonderful. They just took a big block of the cheese, ran it through the little machine, and grated it and put it in the bowl here. So spread these out a little bit. Now I'll be able to get three on here. So I will have a, another a pan that I'll make uh, another one or two more out of. But just go ahead and sprinkle these out. Well, pardon that. I didn't mean to I hit the camera there. But just go ahead and put these out a little bit. Try and make them the same size, same consistency. See, they're not very high. Just keep them compact so that when they, they will melt a little bit, but they hopefully won't spread. Oh, there's the beeping that says the oven's ready. Now, one little trick I like to use, I have, here's my taco seasoning. Same thing I put into the meat. Uh, I like to take just a little bit here, just a little sprinkle. Yeah, just a little, I'm not even gonna measure it. And then I like to add that a little bit to the shell mixture here. So that way that has extra flavor. Besides just being tasted and less like cheese, we have a little extra zing to it. There we go. And I have a, the oven, it just went off at 375. And we'll bake this for a few minutes there. And we'll make sure the edges here get nice and bubbly and crispy. That's the key, get the edges crispy, and that's when you know these are done. So these are gonna go ahead in the oven. I can't tell you exactly how many minutes because it's based on your oven, how hot it gets, how even it is, uh, but just keep an eye on it. And again, you want the edges crispy, and then we'll bring out our spoon tool that we'll use. Oh, it's really neat, and it's a lot of fun. This is what we enjoy with our tacos. We have some sour cream, some taco sauce. Now this is probably not really keto. It has uh, two carbs in it, so you can eliminate that if you want, but uh, that little bit, uh, we don't mind. Uh, fresh shredded lettuce, fresh tomato, and here's the rest of the cheese that we uh, use to make the taco shells. So we'll go ahead and plate all this up with our tacos, and we're just gonna just love these. Okay, these are right out of the oven. I mean, you could still see them bubbling. 
and go. So we're gonna give that just about a minute to go ahead and cool off. You don't wanna to wait too long as then they're not pliable anymore. Then they're just great little discs. Now, as an option, you could take these and put them into a bowl and make that into a taco bowl as using the taco shell from other brands that make taco salad bowls. So you could do that also, but we're gonna go ahead and like I said, use these for the regular tacos, use them as taco shells. For this step, we're going to wrap the spoon with this piece of foil. You don't have to do that, but remember the cheese could get a little oily and greasy and uh, I don't want it to stain the spoon. So I'm just gonna give it a, just a quick wrap, kind of tighten it up here a little bit. You don't have to worry about it getting it too tighter. So now it, uh, when I put the cheese on it, it won't stain the spoon. Okay, I have a couple of glasses. You can make them similar or just make sure they're about the same height. And then you can go ahead and drape your spoon over the top. And when we finish making the taco shells and the cheese, we're just going to droop them over that. And you'll see that coming up shortly. Okay, these just came out of the oven, man, maybe two minutes ago. And they're getting a little stiff. You don't want them to get uh, too hard, too stiff, or they won't fold over. As you can see, I got a nice wide little paddle here and I will put that on our spoon. I have a nice wide spoon right here because I want a nice uh, wide taco. That's for me. And I put a little paper towel underneath it because they will drip a little bit of grease on them. As you can see on the mat, there's a little bit of uh, oil left over from the cheese. So we'll go ahead and let that sit for about five minutes and then we'll go ahead and eat and I'll go ahead and put these on a spoon right now. Now we're ready to really enjoy our taco here. So remember, please subscribe, like if you enjoyed this, and put a comment down on your favorite keto meal or taco. So I have my shell. I'll add a little bit of the ground beef. Now this recipe works just as good with turkey or ground chicken. You would try it with ground pork, but it'll probably work too. And a little bit of cheese on top. Whoa, look at that. That's all connected there. A little bit of shredded lettuce. And then just a couple of tomatoes on top. Uh, if you have some lime, feel free to sprinkle that on top just a little bit. I actually have my own margarita right here, so I'll enjoy it. So it'll be a perfect meal. Mm, let's take a bite. Mm. A little messy. It's got a little bit of oil from the cheese. That's why the paper towel's here, but mm, that is delicious. So this is bento brock. And Amma, and we're gonna enjoy our tacos. Thank you. My friend Amma here and I are gonna enjoy some keto something. What are we having? Ah, oh, tacos. Okay. To make our taco cups or bowls or what, hold on, whatever those are, hold on. Okay, here's what we have. Sorry about that. Kind of choked on that. 